Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This video will actually be the first of a four part series where we build a phrase guessing game using Angular. In this video, we will be setting up the Angular project and creating the game overlay. But before we get started, let's see what the game will look like when we get done at the end of this series. So when the game loads, we'll be taken to this screen here that says start game. We'll click start and we can see that we have a phrase here to guess. We can now click on letters. So for example, M, and I can see that this phrase has two M's in it. If I wanna go back and try to press M again, we can see that it is disabled because I've already chose that letter. If I choose an incorrect letter like Z, I can see that one of my lives were taken away. If I choose another letter, let's say X, another life was taken away and I only have three lives left. Let's see what happens if I press Q. Another life was taken away. And then L and D. Now we can see that I've lost all my lives and it's game over, but I can try again. If I click try again, I get another phrase and let's try H. And I happen to know that this phrase is hello world. So let's, uh, See what happens if we win. And we can see that it says you win play again. All right. So now that we've taken a look at what we'll be building, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. So I'm going to open up a terminal and run ng new, and we're going to call it Fraser. Here it's asking us if we'd like to add angular routing. I don't, so I'm going to hit N and I want to use SCSS. It's now installing the packages and setting up our brand new angular project. Okay. Now it's complete. So let's go ahead and CD into that directory. Let's try that again. And now let's open up VS code. So here we can see that we have a blank angular project to work with. Let's go ahead and serve up the angular project and see what it looks like. So I'm going to open up terminal in VS code. Uh, I do that by control back tick and then let's do ng serve. And it's compiled successfully. And now let's jump over to the browser and go to localhost port 4200. And Fraser app is running. Here's some help documents, other things that just comes default with the Angular project. All right, so back in VS Code, let's rip out all of the stuff that we don't really want. So first I'm going to remove all of the styles that are in line in the HTML. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to remove everything in this file and just do an H1 and call it Fraser. Let's save that. And back over in the browser, we can see that we have our H1 with nothing else. And the H1 says Fraser. Let's come back. There's nothing in the SAS and I'm not going to be doing testing for this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this file, get it out of our way. In the component, we have a title property. I'm not going to be using that. So let's remove it. And now we're ready to start. So the first thing we want to build out is the game overlay. So let's come back to the HTML and now let's wrap this in a div with a class of container. So I'm going to be using Emmet, which allows me to just write dot container and hit tab and I get a div with a class of container. Let's move the H1 into that container and actually I want that to be in a div with a class of header. 
let's move that in. Okay, and then now let's come down and build out the game overlay. So I want that to have a class of game overlay. And inside that, I want a class or a div with a class of overlay container. So back in the browser, I've got the, the original app running. So let's open that up. It's on local host 4201. And that way we have something to look at while we're building the game out. So here we can see that I have a title and then a button that says start. So let's come back to the overlay container and let's put an H1. This says start game. And then a button that says start. We'll save that. And if we come back over here, we can see that we have the game overlay that's here, but it's, it's not correct just yet. We need to style it, but we can see that it's an H1 and a button. Now we just need to gray out the background and add our white box for the actual overlay container. So coming back, let's open up our SAS. And first the overlay container lives in the div container. So let's create that. And then inside here we'll have the game overlay. So we want it to take up the full screen. So let's do a hot of 100% and a width of 100%. Let's position it absolute. and set the top property to zero and left to zero. Let's save that. And we can see back in our browser, it's now sitting on top of the Fraser H1. So let's come back. Let's add a background color. So this background color, we want to have an opacity. So we're gonna set that to an RGBA of black. And then the alpha, I want that to be 0.8. So back in the browser, we can now see that we have the actual overlay color here. Let's come back to VS Code and let's write some styles for the overlay container. Um, and maybe it'd be easier if we split screen this so that way we can see. So here we can see we have the game overlay and that's what we created the background color here. And now let's do for overlay container. And I wanted to have a background color of white. And then I don't want it to be full screen, so let's set it to be a width of uh, 50% and a height of 20%. So let's save that and see what that looks like. Okay, so now we have our white box, but we wanna center it in the screen. So let's come back to VS Code and set the margin to auto and see what that looks like. Now we can see it's centered, but we need, we want the text to, to also be centered so that it looks kind of like this. So let's come back to VS Code and to center the text, we'll use text align center and then let's do a font size 
of 24 pixels. And then I want the font size of the button to be 24 pixels as well. So let's, so we have the button and font size 24 pixels. Let's save that. So now back in the browser, we can see that we have the overlay and it looks correct. Now we just need something to happen when we click the start button. We want the overlay to go away. So let's come back to VS Code. And now let's open up app.component.ts and write a property, show overlay. And set it to true. We want to show the overlay when the game loads, so we'll set it to true. And then we'll write our first method in this class. We'll call it start game. And when start game is called, for now we'll just set show overlay to false. And back in HTML, we want the button to have a click handler that calls start game. And then last, we need an ng if that looks at whether or not we should show the overlay. So show overlay. So essentially, if show overlay is true, then we're gonna show the game overlay. And then when we click the button, it's gonna call start game. And then that's gonna set show overlay to false and make the overlay disappear. So let's go back to the browser and try that out. So here in the browser, we have our start button. We'll click it and the overlay disappears. And that concludes the end of part one of this four part series. I hope you enjoyed creating the game overlay with me. If so, let me know by hitting the like button down below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you do not miss part two of this four part series. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.